I just ask that the church bear with me because I still have the butterflies. It's all right. I was born in the 50s, Midway. Midway. BFF. Midway. <laughs> and I was doing research for this, this topic. And it came to my attention that in the 50s, there was a DJ, and back then they were called disc jockeys. Mm -hmm. That's where the DJ comes from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And his name was Alan Flea. Mm -hmm. And he worked, believe it or not, there were no FM stations, there were all AM stations. Mm -hmm. And he worked at the radio station, AM radio station. And he coined the term rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Now rock and roll is in New York City, the, fame, the Hall of Fame of Rock and Roll. However, he was the first to come up with the term Rock and Roll. Well, later on, they wanted to do a poll with the people on the radio and the listeners and the DJs, and they wanted to find out who was the best rock and roll song ever. Now, those of us that heard of the Chuck Berry and the, all of this and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, the Beatles and whatnot, we would think they would be in the one up in number one. Well, it wasn't. Hmm. It was a band from Britain known as the Rolling Stones. Hmm. And the number one song was I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Hmm. Yeah, Brian, you know it, don't you? <laughs> Well, personally, I listen to all genre of music. Mm -hmm. I love jazz, I love classical. Mm -hmm. I listen to pop because I got grandkids and I had teenagers, so mm -hmm. I had to listen to their music that's too. That's right, that's right. See what they were listening to. Yeah. But recently, Christian has put me on to a genre of music called um, gospel hip hop. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the beat that the kids like, and I was saying, okay, I'm listening to this. And he introduced me to a young man called Jordan Armstrong mm -hmm. and Uncle Reese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uncle Reese. And I'm listening, I said, okay, I'll listen to it, because I want him, you know, I'm not that old, I can listen to music like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to the words that these young people were saying. And all of them, yes, they have today's beat that they love, uh -huh. but they were uplifting the name of Jesus. Yes. They were telling the young folks yes. how to yes. praise. Uh -huh. If you're going to praise God, yeah. give him your all. Yeah. If you're going to praise God, uh -huh. don't hold anything back. Uh -huh. Amen. Let him have it all. Amen. And I'm saying, okay, I can listen to this. Well, also, I'm going back to some of us. How many of you have listened to The Temptations? Mm -hmm. Louisa Franklin. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And don't tell me you don't listen to uh, The Temptations Solid Night today. Mm. Amen, amen. That's right. Because when I, when I sometimes I have a joke with my kids, I used to tell them, it ain't Christmas until I hear The Temptations say, <laughs> That's right, girl. In my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, okay, Christmas is That's right. Uh -huh. We all know. We uh -huh. all listen to it. We all enjoy it. Music is music. It's That's singing right. to the soul. Uh -huh. At nighttime, Christian has a tendency to put on soft jazz mm. and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And he sometimes he has it so loud and I can hear it in my room and it puts me to sleep. Mm. <laughs> but music is a part of what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. And like I said, especially when the temptation says it's solid at night. Well, the longevity and the popularity of the song by the um, Rolling Stone, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Mm -hmm. That song speaks to the fundamental dilemma of our country today. Mm -hmm. That's why it has such a longevity. It speaks to people of today. There's such a search in this world right now for satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that they can't get this satisfaction by material things, oh, yeah. by everything that's all around. Yeah, that's right. yeah. See, that search for satisfaction can take at least three faces in our world today. Mm -hmm. And the most of us usually can, at some point, got stuck mm -hmm. trying to find satisfaction in one way or another. Mm -hmm. The things we try 
so hard in vain to attempt to find that satisfaction are called happiness, mm -hmm. thrills, and pleasure. Mm -hmm. All three of these things refer, is referred to in one way or another by Apostle Paul in Galatians 5, verses 19 through 21. And it's being related totally to the works of flesh mm. or the acts of sinful nature. Mm -hmm. Paul refers to them by names such as drunkenness, debauchery, discord, and deception. We can refer to the same impulses of human spirit by different names, happiness, good, pleasure. But the motivation and the desired outcome are the same. We're trying to create satisfaction for ourselves. Mm -hmm. See, some people observe and they're obsessed with finding happiness. They're wanting that specific time when they were happiest in the, uh, in all, at all times, mm -hmm. no matter what age they were. Mm -hmm. That's what they're searching for. They want to live in a Disney world all the time, mm -hmm. forgetting that Disney world is only made for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In John 16 and 33, Jesus tells us in no uncertain terms, mm -hmm. in this world, in mm -hmm. this world, mm -hmm. you will have trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, in our hearts know it to be true. But still, we believe that the lyrics of the song of the Rolling Stone, I try and I try and I try mm -hmm. and I try, I can't get no satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Why you can't get satisfaction when I'm searching for happiness? Mm -hmm. Because happiness doesn't and cannot last. Mm -hmm. When we find out that things don't that we are looking for are supposed to bring us satisfaction, we're going to search for something else. Mm -hmm. If happiness doesn't bring it, let's see. I'll try some work. Mm -hmm. How many of you been on a roller coaster? Yeah. yeah. Is uh -huh. that a thrill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when the roller coaster is over. It's over. You're either sick on the stomach or you've got a headache or you're yeah. something. You're trying to find satisfaction through that thrill, thrill but it doesn't work. Uh -huh. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I used to tell my kids, I'm going bungee jumping. Ooh. Oh, girl. That's all right. No. No. Uh -uh. Not happening. No. Not today. No. No, no, no. I Not even ever. went as far as to go Not to the ever. place where we were going to bungee jump. I was living in Missouri, and we were going to bungee jump on this cliff. And I went to the end of the cliff, and I looked over. Uh-uh, that ain't for me. That was one thrill I did not need. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll live or die. Didn't do it. But still, people are searching for thrills some kind of way. Mm -hmm. And they still find out. I try, and I try, and I try. Mm -hmm. I can't get no satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I have to talk to you about Many of our young people and people are, uh, and older people as well are seeking satisfaction through the pleasure of vaporing. Mm. Not realizing that this is killing them. Mm. This is causing their lungs to look as, and get them to see y'all as somebody who's been smoking for 30 Come years. On. Come on. Our 15, 16, and 17 year old children. Yes having to go to the hospital, having to have part of their lungs removed mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of vapor, mm -hmm. yeah. or in a coma because they chose to vapor. Mm -hmm. Vaporing, it kills you, yes. but you're looking for that satisfaction, mm -hmm. that pleasure mm -hmm. that's not going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of that is going to give you that satisfaction. Mm -hmm. The truth about the, the pursuit of satisfaction, no matter what form, is happiness, thrill, or pleasure. Mm -hmm. All of these things can bring you a little satisfaction mm -hmm. for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Short mm -hmm. Going back to, to treasure, to the pleasure. We have drug addiction, mm -hmm. teenage pregnancy, mm -hmm. unwanted birth, mm -hmm. abortion, broken family. Mm -hmm. These are high prices that is being paid for that pursuit of pleasure. Hmm. In Montgomery County, America, America is paying the price. Hmm. Like the Rolling Stone said, I 
can't get no satisfaction. Hmm. There's a reason none of these things can bring any lasting satisfaction. It's because all of these things work from the outside in. Uh oh, go ahead. There, be, that there are behaviors mm -hmm. and experience that comes from the world around us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and brought into our lives. When the world around us change or shift, uh -huh. that satisfaction changes mm -hmm. or shifts. Mm -hmm. so. But thank God, thank God that is not the case for the fruit of the Spirit. As it is found in Galatians 5 and 23, satisfaction or joy is found in such thing as love, joy, peace, patience, yeah. kindness, yeah. goodness, yeah. fruitfulness, yeah. and most of all young people, self-control. Uh. These qualities work from the inside mm. out. These are the spiritual formation issues that take root on the inside mm. for us that follows Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He sustained them even when the condition uh -huh. around us uh -huh. are being turned upside down. Uh -huh. There's a song, Upside Down, Inside Out. Uh -huh. God has control. No matter what's going on in your world. Yeah. That's right, that's right. And young people, I know y'all think y'all world, oh my Lord, he don't like me, she don't like me, he doesn't think I'm cute, oh, she won't talk to me, oh, they bullying me, oh. That's your world on the outside. Mm. Look on the inside uh -huh. to God Almighty. Yes, yes, that yes. will take control. Uh -huh. If they don't want to play with you, okay, so fine, I'm gonna play by myself. Be happy. Because God that live on the inside you will send you a friend, uh -huh. a That's true right. friend, uh -huh. someone who's willing to be with you yeah. no matter what. Yeah. Thank, you, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. No matter what. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. will. The joy of Christmas is about the love of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He sent his son Jesus into yeah. our world uh -huh. to redeem us. Yeah. From the behavior that is constantly pulling us away from him. Mm -hmm. And that's not just for the young people. Mm -hmm. That's for us too. Yeah. That's yeah. for me yeah. too. Yeah. From things that are pulling us away from. How many times have you got up in the morning and said, I'm going to church this morning. Or I'm going to pray this morning. Mm -hmm. And the minute you get down to pray, something happens. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> something on the outside pulling you away from God. From that moment, mm -hmm. but I got a secret for you. <laughs> Let it happen on the outside. Mm -hmm. Let it go on on the outside. Mm -hmm. Even if you got to get up, mm -hmm. you can still say on the inside, God, I thank you. That's right. That's, that. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know, sometimes when I walk into work because I work at a pharmacy and we have a whole lot of people from behavioral health coming. And when, when sometimes when they come in, this is the honest truth. I can see that evil spirit on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I look at them, and they will have such a nasty little attitude. Mm -hmm. And my thing is today, I do not look at people and say happy holidays. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I don't celebrate happy holidays. I celebrate Merry Christmas Amen. because it's the birth. My Savior, Amen. my Lord. Amen. And I tell people, Merry Christmas. Amen. This lady came in, and when she came in, and I was talking with her and getting her medication, and at first, to be honest with you, I couldn't quite understand her. She was a foreigner. She was speaking so fast. And I asked her, ma'am, please slow down so I can get your name right and I can get your medication for you. And she gave me a... The old me with my say Take control. Mm -hmm. And I said, ma'am, I just need to get the right medication to you. Mm -hmm. So she slowed down and gave me my uh, the name. I gave her her medication. And when she took her medication and went walk off, I looked at her and I said, Merry Christmas. She stopped. Whoa. <laughs> I knew what's going to happen at this point. 
What is she gonna say? And she turned around and she said, thank you. Uh -huh. I was taken aback mm -hmm. for her to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I looked and she said, because people don't say Merry Christmas anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. But you gotta let God use you. And when you got yeah. him on the inside, he will tell you what to do in a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No matter what comes up against you, mm -hmm. no matter what that friend might act or say, uh -huh. no matter how much you walking down the hall, you pushed. Amen. Just look at it and say, excuse me, and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. In this Advent season, Advent season mm -hmm. I'd rather have the joy of the Lord than the satisfaction of the world any day. Mm -hmm. And there's three reasons why. Mm -hmm. Joy comes as a result of faith and trust that resides uh, within us. Mm -hmm. And not in relationship to material or sensual things going on around us. We are so easily and so quickly forget that the glad tidings and great joy spoken to the shepherds of Bethlehem by the angel of heaven was about the birth of a savior mm -hmm. and not about the discount prices at Walmart, mm. <laughs> Macy's, uh -huh. or how much yeah. discount you can uh -huh. get online. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The joy of Christmas is about the love of God who sent Jesus mm -hmm. into our world to redeem us from behavior and constant things that pull us away. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say Santa has come. Uh, has come. In our song, Joy to the World, mm -hmm. that we sing, does it say joy to the world, Santa has come? Ooh. Does it say joy to the world, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has come? Mm. The joy of Christmas is centered in fact that the Lord has come. Amen. God is with us. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. All joy is anchored in that knowledge. Yes. 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 I was listening to the 104.1, I think. That's it. Yeah, 104.1 on the radio the other day coming home. And they were talking about, oh, did you hear about the big news that Je uh, Ellen DeGeneres did? The gifts she did. <laughs> Some of us have heard about it. Okay, giveaway. One young man, mm -hmm. he was assigned to work, mm -hmm. would walk five miles to work every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a, I think it was a basketball or football player, heard about it took him to a, a car dealership and bought him a car. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only thing that happened to him. Ellen heard about it, brought him on her show, gave him $100,000, oh and offered him a job. Wow. Those are good, those are great, those are present, but the car is gonna eventually broke down. Come on, come on, preach. The hundred thousand dollars is going to eventually yes, go away. Yes, it will. The job may or may not happen with Ellen. Uh -huh. What joy does he have? And we heard about Michelle Obama and when she went to DC and and was going and donated a hundred grand to the school mm -hmm. in DC, and how they gonna didn't have a basketball court, but now they're gonna have one. But the basketball court is gonna get old. Come on. Uh, tree roots or grass or whatever is going to grow up through the asphalt. If they don't take care of the, the, the basketball goals, those mm -hmm. rings are going to eventually rush and go back. What joy is that? See, I may not, but I'm not, I'm not bad me, I'm a bad me. I may not get material things, but you better remember me. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. I might not get material things for Christmas. But the joy I have or live on the inside of me Amen. is more precious to me mm -hmm. than anything, mm -hmm. anything this world has to offer. Yes. The second joy is the joy of the Lord is available to all of us. Mm -hmm. Even though none of us really deserve it. Mm -hmm. But it's available. Amen. See, the gift God offers, hope, love, joy, peace, mm -hmm. are freely given by God. And it's his grace that he gives us. Mm -hmm. His amazing grace. God doesn't wait until we deserve it. He doesn't wait on for you to change or for me to change. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He gives it to us freely. Yeah, man. See, God loves us and Christ died for us while we were still sinful. Mm -hmm. yes. 
and, and most of all, we're rebellious people. I know a lot of time they talk about Israelite, but you know, we are Israelite. If anybody, think about it. We are the Israelite. We are the most rebellious people that have ever, the third world country, they are so freely praising and giving That's God right. all the glory. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And they have one tenth huh. is less Sometimes of what less we have yeah. of the yeah. poorest person in the United States. Uh -huh. mm. They are so willing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, and I hate to say this, but eco, sometimes we have to property for our job. Mm -hmm. Think about where God brought you from. That's right. That's oh, right. I know sometimes I get out and I don't even care. That's right. Go look ahead. at me funny. Look at me strange. But when the Holy Spirit hits me, go ahead, and go I think ahead. about what my God has done for you, yes. I can't help but get loud. Yes. The yes. fact of the matter, at uh -huh. any given time, you see me standing here praising him, uh -huh. I don't even see him. Mm -hmm. I'm in the presence of my Savior. Yes, and yes. I'm giving him the glory. I'm yes. giving him everything yes. I got. Yes. Amen. Because he gave me uh -huh. everything he had. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mm. It is an unspeakable joy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say, "Why are you smiling?" I say, "I can't. I can tell you, but you wouldn't understand." <laughs> and I just go on about my business. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I walk in the halls of, uh, 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 of the hospital, taking medication to people, and when I get in there, the Holy Spirit just say great things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask him if, I, if it's okay if I pray with him, mm -hmm. if he needs me to do that. Most time I just say, as they signing the paper, I'm praying. Whatever it is, Lord, you mm -hmm. have control. Amen. And that's it. Amen. But that joy I feel on the inside Amen. when I walk Amen. out that door, mm -hmm. ain't no man can take that. That's thing. right. That's, That's right. right. Now the That's third right. thing and final thing I want to talk to you guys about about joy. It's a very personal, very personal. See, I learned this from my mom. In 1995, my dad died, and it was. I took him to the doctor on the 13th of October, and on the 20th of October, he took his last breath. Now, during this time, before I took him to that doctor, we were taking my mom back to the hospital, back and forth to have treatment. She was in remission from cancer for over 18 years, but it came back with a vengeance for my dad. My dad just, he just left us. Within seven days, he was gone. And I can remember about almost a year around this time. This time of the year sometimes it gets to me. But I know <coughs> what my mom said to me. Because we, she and I were sitting down and we were talking. And I just made the comment that you had a pretty rough year this year, Mom, haven't you? And she looked at me and said, yeah. My mom, she liked, she had a rocking chair in her den. And she was sitting in that rocking chair and she was just walking back and forth. And she stopped. She looked at me and she said, yeah. I lost my husband. This cancer's not leaving me. It's been rough. But I still got joy. Mm. At that moment, I, I look at her like, huh? You know. My mom lived 23 months after my dad. On September the 16th, which would have been his, October would have been his second year anniversary. She took her life. It was a pill to swallow because I was concentrating so much on my dad, on my mom, that when my dad passed, I didn't grieve them. Mm -hmm. So when my mom passed, it was like I grieved them. The both at the same time. Mm -hmm. I would go, you know, how I don't know if about everybody knows about this, but you know, in South Carolina, they do not bury for till seven days. On that seventh day, they have the funeral. And they had the burial. And
then, of course, people was coming in and out, and I was just laughing and talking. And my sister looked at me and said, who are you so happy about? <laughs> I looked at her and I said, I've got a joy on the inside of me. I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. But mom and daddy at peace. Mm -hmm. Because the funniest thing is that two weeks before my mom passed, I was in my house. And I was lying down on the bed, and I was about to get up to go to work. And I felt something sit on my bed. I opened my eyes because I thought one of the kids, I said, they better not be on skip school because I'll kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it wasn't. And then I just, it seemed like I went back into a, a sleep. And then I was in that sleep. My dad's voice said, don't worry about Mary. She's going to be all right. And I felt the, the, like someone had sit. I felt them get up. And when I opened my eyes again, outside was just the sun was really just warm. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, my mom took her, took her last breath. So my dad had already told me she's going to be fine. But I really did thought it was one of the kids coming in the room. I'll be honest with you. But that's the, the, the third joy. This joy that I have, even though my mom had gone through and was going through so much, she said she still have joy. Mm -hmm. But see, God is greater and bigger than anything yeah. life can yeah. throw That's right. at That's you. That's right. I have a, a little advice for some of you who's still trying to find the um, I can't get that no satisfaction mm -hmm. attitude. Uh -huh. Look somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try reading Isaiah 55, 2 and 6. Mm. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Mm -hmm. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That's right. See, this is the gift of this Advent season. Mm -hmm. It's a season when we are reminded that the best things in life works from the inside out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not from the outside in. Mm -hmm. Life is not about the happiness, the pleasure, the thrills, the highs. Mm -hmm. Real satisfaction in life comes from the theme of the Advent, three of which are listed among the fruit of the Spirit, mm -hmm. love, joy, and peace. Back home, we sang a song, and Pastor, thank you for the coffee. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Singing this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. The world cannot give it, yeah. and the world cannot take it away. Yes. That is what separates joy from the yes. cheap thrill, yes. the fleeting happiness, the temporal pleasure of yes. this world. Amen. Only the joy that comes from deep down and on the inside, mm -hmm. that comes from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh -huh. that the world didn't give it 